हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू इजी प्रोफेशनल ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट बिल्डिंग अ ब्रिज बिटवीन एकेडमिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिक्वायरमेंट लास्ट टाइम वी हैव आस्क्ड अ क्वेश्चन इन इजी लर्निंग ऑफ द वीक 3 रिगार्डिंग द प्लान ब्रेसिंग रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एनी स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज अ एग्जांपल ऑफ अ पाइप ब्रेक हियर वी हैव गिवन डिफरेंट ऑप्शंस ऑफ प्लान ब्रेसिंग एंड वी हैड आस्क यू व्हिच विल बी द बेस्ट now of course surprisingly one answer is not the right answer of course it depends on the situation where the force is coming what is the requirement of the structure and accordingly we can decide so to understand that let us understand one by one the concept of the bracing first of all let us see the bracing direction how it matters in the force transfer mechanism this is a one concept of bracing this is generally used in elevation bracing this pattern produces tension in all the bracings and this type of bracing produces one bracing in tension and one bracing in compression to understand this clearly you can find this direction with a method of section and you can determine with the shear force and accordingly you can decide whether it is in tension and compression more convincingly you can say take example of this column and beam when any beam is loaded in the middle this has a tendency to rotate like this right now just concentrate on this space what happens here okay this gets tilted like this that means this face is tilted like this of course same thing is going to happen in the concrete beam also right if this is a concrete beam and the beam is loaded like this this is again the same tendency to orient like this so there will be a diagonal crack in the concrete beam for this either we provide stirrups or we provide bent up bars as of now bent up bars are not generally used but just to understand so you can see this is the direction direction which is required for tension and this same direction we have provided here so with this configuration you can ensure that the bracing is in tension for the gravity loads if you are going to provide plan bracing for wind seismic the loads are reversal it can come from one direction or come from the opposite direction so for plan bracing we prefer this type of configuration and not this okay so one thing is clear when you are going to provide bracing here in our pipe break and if it is for gravity loads which is mainly governing if this is the case then the bracing will be like this now let us see whether bracings are really required or not in this to explain this we have explored number of state models and we have tried to see the behavior see here first of all this is the model with no bracing this selected members are vertical bracing is mentioned in our query okay let us see the behavior this carries load varying in different base now you can see the extreme deflection in minor axis in this way why because this is the column this is the column this is the column this is the column but here we don't have column and this span is about 12 meter so whenever you need to have load in the minor direction and span is more you must provide plan bracing like this at least here for other portion we will discuss whether this bracing is required or not but if this is a bridge type of time and if there is a more load in between you need to provide plan bracing at least in this portion let us see the behavior for this see you can see the behavior now the behavior is changed but still the load is acting independently 
where the load is less the deflection is less where the load is more deflection is more and accordingly now let us see one more case here we have provided that transverse bracing also because we had a load here right so if this span is more than say 4 meter 5 meter 6 meter and there is a heavy load in between then you need to provide this bracing also this is an additional advantage this bracing is going to help in that now the behavior is changed but still the load is acting independently where the load is less the deflection is less where the load is more deflection is more and accordingly now let us see one more case here we have provided that transverse bracing also because we had a load here right so if this span is more than say 4 meter 5 meter 6 meter and there is a heavy load in between then you need to provide this bracing also this is an additional advantage this bracing is going to help in the design of this cross beams because then you can take the effective length unl of this cross beams half of the actual length only so there will be economy now let's see behavior of this this is same because the cross bracing is not going to help in this load except so uh, just for your information only this portion will act simultaneously so this load 100 kN may going to be transferred on this portion because this also this bracing also act as longitudinal bracing for this portion only let's take next exam next example this is a full longitudinal brace see what is the advantage now this behaves uniformly you can see the deflection is almost same in all base irrespective of the load okay so this is the advantage of bracing when you have uneven loading you can take the advantage of this bracing if you wish that my structure all base all columns should have the same drift almost same drift you can take this advantage or if the structure is not requirement like this and you can allow the individual drift for individual columns then you need not to provide plan bracing in the longitudinal direction okay let's see further if i also provide vertical bracing in the last bay and not in this c now this is getting fixed and the this portion is comparatively getting more and more drift here what will happen we will have more reactions here and we will have less reaction here okay let's go one more further now in this model i vertical bracing in both the gable ends so what happens this is getting fixed here and deflection is getting reduced let us see the reaction values for both of this case c this is the deflection value okay now what happens here at gable ends maximum force is getting transferred it is in the range of 300 kN while in between it is a very less force so this actually controls the total drift of the structure so when you have requirement of minimum drift you want to control the drift you can go with this option you can provide the gable end bracing with the plan bracing throughout and you can catch the force all forces in all base at the gable end okay now this all options we have also tried with pin connection okay we have done all models with pin connection also and the behavior is same yes but the value of drift varies greatly now let's see our options one by one this was our query and we have varying loads here 
so if you want to have deflection throughout the section same then we need to have bracing otherwise not okay but of course this type of bracing is not at all required you may you need to have any one way brace and of course the bracing pattern will be like this and not like this because this is required as suggested previously this is for elevation and this is for plan option b no option c yes it is right except this pattern is wrong okay option d again wrong because we need transverse bracing also option e this is also right but only for this portion at least one bracing is required in bridge portion if you are not providing the full bracing for the uniform displacement along with this learning i would like to share one more learning regarding open stead open stead is a strong tool for reducing your time for reducing the main hours let us see one example of this here i have prepared one excel sheet where you can give the grid dimensions level dimension and you can define some loading also when it is a uniform for all floors okay say this grid dimension can be different it may not be uniform after putting your data here you just need to click generate model you can see it is getting developed automatically this is the beauty of open state of course we do have templates for this also but by learning open state you can prepare your own programming you can prepare your own templates and not only the modeling but you can also derive the required results you can also assign required loading from so friend this is the way you can use open state widely and you can develop your own templates and you can reduce the time of working from days to just minutes and i am proud to say that we are the only institute who is teaching open state for more inquiries and for more information kindly log on to our website or our facebook page the details are given in the group easy structural concepts thank you once again this is satish jethwani from easy professional training institute fatehganj varudha